when you allow yourself to beam brilliantly into the world, the world does become a brighter place because you are an essential part of the collective fire that we are all adding to. And if we want to see the world be a better place and a more brilliant place to exist, it begins with us. Just sharing our passion, sharing our truth, trusting our intuition. And that's what this week's astrology report encourages us to remember, is that as we shine our light into the world, the world does become a brighter place. Starting with this week's report on Friday, we have the Sun, square Pluto. So this is about focusing on the goal, not the expected outcome that you would desire. Because there's some transformation that needs to happen in your own personal life, in society at large. And that transformation can actually take place when we focus on our goal. Because your role is essential and we can't predict necessarily how transformation is going to occur, but when we focus on what it is our goal is, what do you want out of the situation? What do you want to achieve? When we focus on that goal and not have expectations of what it looks like, we're gonna be more satisfied. And so on Friday, allow yourself to just focus on the goal. What are, what are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to do? And allow transformation to happen as it's meant to unfold, okay? Because then on Saturday, when we have Mercury square Pluto, we have Mercury sextile Jupiter, and then we also have Mars trying Jupiter. This is about recognizing in the world that you exist in right now, how you can live your passions to the fullest just by experiencing the opportunities that are already there waiting for you. Just becoming more involved with the community that you exist in. Right, so allow yourself to, even if you're not in the place that you wanna be, whatever, allow yourself to recognize how you are in the right place because there's opportunities that maybe you've closed off to, but open up to the opportunities that are already existing for you to share your passions. Open up about what you're passionate about with the people in your reality, with the people all around you that are existing in your community, and see how when you shine and you inspire another, they begin to shine. That's how we create change, is just by existing right where we are, right here, right now, and sharing what it is our goal is. What do we want to see happen in the world? So Saturday, allow yourself to really just see how you can live your passions to the fullest just by looking in your immediate reality and seeing the opportunities that are already there, okay? Because then on Sunday, when we have Mercury conjunct the sun, this is really truly about feeling your inner fire and recognizing how your inner fire ignites others. And as you ignite others, begin to realize and notice how everybody is so cosmically connected. The brighter you shine, the brighter the world shines. See your role in making the world a brighter, better place just by recognizing how when you speak your passion, you ignite others. That's simple enough to make the world a better place just by inspiring other people to share their truth, shine their light. So Sunday is a wonderful day to open up and share what it is you would like to see in the world and see how you begin to ignite other people's flames and fires, okay? Because then on Monday, when we have Venus trying to stray, you know, allow yourself to see how your creations are growing, are coming to fruition, are blossoming into these beautiful things that you, you know, you put the intention into, right? You put the work into, so of course they're gonna grow. So see how your creations are growing and know that the future, if you're planting the seeds to achieve justice and to re-establish balance in our world and your own personal life, if you're planting the seeds, that is what the future holds. And so know that we can restore justice right here in this moment, by putting in the work, by putting in the effort, knowing that if we water the plant, it will grow. If we water that intention, it will grow and it will manifest and we will see restored justice. It happens one step at a time, but the more we put our intention and the more mindful we are of where we're putting our intention, that is what our future will be, okay? 
because then on Tuesday, when we have the third quarter square moon, this is all about remembering that you have to do the work if you want the abundance. If you want to receive the crop, the fruit, you know, you have to do the planting, you have to do the watering, you have to do the work. You can't just, you know, get the recognition that you desire. You can't just utilize your self-righteousness to proclaim something that you've not achieved. That's not how it works. And so under this, you know, first quarter square moon, you have to allow yourself to get rid of ego, self-righteousness. And know that you will receive the recognition you deserve when you do the work. And you'll have an abundance of it when you do the work. Because the more effort and the more time and the more love and care that you put into something, that is what will grow. So allow yourself to receive the recognition in due time. So on, you know, just allow yourself under this, you know, first quarter square moon to just let go of the ego, let go of all that kind of stuff, okay? So that is this week's astrology report. And um, if you like a personal reading, you can contact me at 11kyvarose33.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you can have these videos sent directly to you. Um, just sign up on my website, 11kyvarose33.com. You can also sign up on my Patreon account to receive uh, percentages off readings and also have these videos sent directly to you from there. Other than that, shine your light brightly, y'all, and I'll talk to you soon.